Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we have another hair review today, and this one is brought to you by me, myself, and I, because I spent my hard-earned money to purchase a wig from a brand that I heard of, but there's an outlet for this brand, and I found out about it on Instagram. Now, I never tried the brand before because they are expensive, and so seeing the outlet, the outlet is more priced for the range that I still think is a bit higher, but we're going to get into this video because I have a lot to say about this unit, but this is the end result. So, I mean, I'm smiling. I like it, right? But you need to see how I got here. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I do lots of hauls, lots of makeup, a lot of hair, nails, a little bit of fitness, so everything related to beauty. If you want to see what brand I'm talking about for this hair, and I hope you guys can see the highlights in it because it is gorgeous, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So today's wig video is brought to you by me. I purchased this wig with my own money and I kind of took a chance. So I've heard of the brand RPG Show and I've seen that they have beautiful wigs and I've seen that they are really expensive. So I never ordered from them. And then I started seeing RPG Show Outlet pop up on my Instagram, I believe. And so I was like, I wonder if this is one of those fake sites or is this real? So I took a chance because I wanted to know and I feel like if it was legit, then I wanted to let y'all know if this was a place that you could get RPG show quality wigs discounted. So got the wig and I was kind of surprised because I ordered it and I didn't even get like an order confirmation email or anything like that. So already I was like, oh Lord, here we go. But then not long after I ordered, I think a day or two, I got an email from the company saying the wig you want is out of stock. Well, why is it on the website? But they did say that they were going to restock it and I could wait two weeks or order something else, which I appreciated. So I just decided to wait because I wanted this particular wig. So the wig that I got is the Kinky Straight Chestnut Brown Highlight Lace Front Wig. And it says it's virgin Burmese hair. Okay, chestnut brown highlights. And I can't even tell you, I think I got mine in 16, either 16 or 18 inches because I didn't get an order confirmation. I, I don't remember. Um, so it starts off at a, it says the regular price of it is $344. So to get the hair color the same as the picture, they added $45. If you wanted to just do jet black, then it's $20 more, but the base price with 13 by four lace is $180. It only comes in 130% density. That was another thing. You can't change that, but they did allow you to decide how much of the hair, how deep you wanted the hairline plucked. So they have just no plucking, which I don't even think they offer that. Um, yeah, they just offer pre-plucked, which looks like most pre-plucked wigs and then they offer deep plucked which looks like my xrs wig that i did or some of the other ones that really were customized and then they also offered the option to deep bleach the knots if you wanted to add it for 20 dollars. which i'm gonna let y'all do all that that is about it for the wig so i'll go ahead and show you you're also not getting much in this package so I got the wig, it came just like this, no extra nothing with it, and I got a wig cap. Oh, here we go. So they put an order confirmation in the box. So I got Yaki Texture, 14 inches, and I did get a size two cap. You can do a one or a two, but yeah. So this is 14 inches. I don't know why I thought I did longer than that. I'm kind of glad I didn't. So this is what it looks like. To say this is 130, that is perfect. And the highlights are beautiful. So already I'm feeling excited. This is a 
it's definitely a yakky texture, but it feels kind of like that silky yakky mix. There's no crinkles in it or anything like that. So I think this is really, really pretty. So let's check out the hairline. I'm just going to put it on my head. It does come with an adjustable band already sewed in, adjustable strap. And then you have your elastic bands in the back. You have a comb in the back, two combs on the side, and that is it. So let's see what she looks like. I, like I said, I did order the bigger wig cap, so hopefully... I don't think I've ordered any other wigs that had a big cap, so I don't know if I'm going to have too much space or not enough space, but I will say right off the bat, I wish I would have gotten 13 by 6. This is long for 14 inches, but look at how pretty. But yeah, I can see that the knots are bleached. The hairline looks good and you can see the ends do get a little thinner, but I feel like that makes it look more natural. So I'm not mad about that. I'm not washing this or anything. I'm just going to get it together a little bit and that's going to be it. But this is what we are working with and I'll show you the length. So. I wasn't sure about this, but I feel like just based on this, I have a really, really good first impression. So I'm going to go ahead and style it real quick and come back and let y'all know my final thoughts. But she's cute. say just from looking at this right here I do feel like the hairline is still pretty straight to say it's pre-plucked so I might have to go in and do a little more with that I will also say that this feels like more of a compact 13 by 4 because you can't pluck further than this on the sides versus having all the way back here for a true 13 by 4 so keep that in mind that's probably another reason why the cost is a little lower, but either way, I still think so far we're looking pretty good. So this is where we are after I'm done hot combing it. This is as far back as the part is going to go before you start feeling tracks. The tracks are literally right there. So I don't think this is a four inch deep parting space. And I'm also noticing that there are some little short hairs throughout the wig so we have filler hairs which I do not expect to see in a human hair wig especially if it's only hundred and thirty percent density like why just let it be I guess to try to make it look a little fuller I don't know but definitely wasn't expecting to see that either now this is really making me want to try an RPG show wig to see what the difference is I would love to try an RPG show wig this exact wig but from the regular line versus the outlet to see what the difference is in the um, construction of it so I'm just gonna go and put some little waves in the hair just to try to give it a little pattern I'm doing this on my wig head because my shoulder is hurting and as much as I would love to sit down and talk to y'all face to face and do this it is just too much stress for me to try to reach back and do this while I'm on camera. So I'm just going to show you all one little quick curl and then go through the rest of the hair and do that. And then that will be it. I love this thing. If y'all have not tried this, it is so worth it if you curl your hair. is it went ahead and put the curls they seem to be holding pretty well I just sprayed hairspray on them and I love the texture of this hair I will say that so that is definitely a pro that this unit has but we're just gonna go ahead and 
let it sit cool off for a little bit and then we'll see what happens when we try to install her because I am going to use adhesive to make sure it stays open. So let's talk about it while I am installing this because I went on RPG Show's regular website and I did find this wig. Now I went ahead and cut the lace off the back. I tightened the adjustable straps a little bit and this is my wig cap slash grip all in one thing that I absolutely love. Got it on Amazon. So on the RPG Show website, this wig is there. And for all of the exact same specs that I got, doesn't let you pick the density. So it lets you pick the texture. <clears throat> it lets you pick the hair length. It lets you pick the color. It's still the additional $20 if you do the deep pre-pucked hairline. Oh, this is kind of nice. I do feel like my sideburns are going to be out a little bit. This is the hairline up close. Like I said, I don't feel like that is the, that's deep plucking that I paid an extra $20 for. And I don't know how I feel about that because I could have did that myself. And then you can see right here is as deep as you can part. I don't know because on the website, it doesn't give you the option to choose anything. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm, I have a little cold. <laughs> Anything other than the, the hair length, the hair texture, the hairline, the knots, if you want fake scalp, what you want your lace color to be, cap construction. Okay, here we go. So it says you can do a 13 by 6 standard density. You can do a 13 by 6 with 200% density. That's an extra $60. Or a glueless full lace cap, an extra $150 or a 13 by four standard density, which I don't know what standard is. With all of the specs that I have, this wig is $439.89 on their website. I paid $247.44. So definitely a price difference. I'm just not sure if it's worth it. I mean, no, let me not say that. I don't know if I feel like this wig is worth $250. That's what I will say. I'm trying this Kiss Colors and Care Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. I saw this on another channel. Precious Marie, I think is her name. Um, she recommended this saying this was one of her favorites right now and that it works really well and it holds. So decided to go ahead and give this a try it was pretty cheap on Amazon so I'm gonna speed through the rest of this install and then do my makeup and I will give you guys my final thoughts I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the hair I just I'm not a hundred percent sure it was worth the price
right. <laughs> that took a little longer than it should have because I started playing in a new eyeshadow palette and my makeup just went nuts. So I went from let's just throw on a quick little face to finish this video to full, full glam. But anyway, this is the final results of the hair. Y'all. I think this hairline looks good. My sides are not down. We do this all the time. I just, I could glue it and put some gel and I would be fine. This side's a little bit better, but I don't care about that. <laughs> I never do. Just for the reviews, it's not that big of a deal. So let me show you the rest of the hair. I think it's really pretty. I think the unit is gorgeous. I might have to take my words back saying that this wig is not worth $250 because the texture, it's hard. It's hard to find. This is the first time I think, other than a synthetic wig, that I have found this texture that does not have the crinkles in it. And I just think it looks so good and so natural. So I don't know. I'm glad I got it for $250 instead of whatever I said, $400 and... Yeah, no, definitely didn't want to pay that, but this is going to be one of my top wigs and I'm going to need to see if I can wear it glueless because I don't always want to spray it. So that's it for my review. Let me know if you guys have heard of the outlet store because that was something new to me. And if you've bought from there, tell me what your experience was. I honestly would probably do it again. Now that I know what to expect, I think it's worth it. So I should have wore a white shirt so you can see the hair better, but oh well. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment and let me know what you think about the hair. Would you wear it? I think it's cute and definitely think it's worth it. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.